Hello everyone, hope all is well and welcome back. So today I'm excited because I'm going to be finally reviewing the Glossier Playline and showing you guys how I created this look. Before we get into it, I would love for you to subscribe if you aren't already, that means so much to me. And yeah, let's get into what I ordered. So the first products that I was really excited about are the, uh, what are these called? The Color Slide Techno Gel Eye Pencils. These are what I was most excited, excited, excited about because they came up with some really unique shades and I picked these four shades because I didn't have anything like that in my collection and I thought I would use these shades the most. So I picked up Early Girl, Nectar, which is a beautiful mustardy yellow, this is Stable Relationship, like a mossy green, and Disaster Class, which is a beautiful burgundy. I picked up one of their glitter jellies, I picked the shade Phantasm because I thought that was the one I would use the most and I thought it was the most unique because it's colorful glitter inside. And I got this Nightshine highlighter, I got the shade Pale Pearl. I got two of the Vinylic lipsticks. I have the shades Pony and Blow Up. So yeah, that's what I got. I did do a little unboxing portion of all these products. I just wanted to show you what it was like opening up these products. There was a lot of packaging, um, way too much. If we lived in a world that didn't have environmental issues, I think it'd be great. Like it is a really fun experience. It's kind of like a blind bag situation and it's a bunch of fun colors, but it was just too much packaging that I'm just, that's just gonna end up in a landfill somewhere. But I did see earlier today that they are phasing out the extra plastic, which is really exciting, very good news. Like just put it in a cardboard, that's easier to recycle. But anyways, that was one of the downsides of this Glossier Play. So let's just get into how I created this look. So I just primed my eye with my Makeup Forever Ultra HD Light Capturing Self Setting Concealer, such a long name, in the shade 12. Um, it's a little bit lighter than what I would usually go for, just to make the colors pop on the eyes a little bit more. So this whole brand, this whole Glossier Play brand gives me a 70s vibe because of the off-white packaging. I'm gonna be doing a little twist on a Twiggy inspired look. So that's what I have in mind. I have this reference photo right up pulled up on my computer just so I can look at it. I'll insert it in this video here. The first product I'm going to be going in with is this color slide pencil in the shade Disaster Class. It's the nice burgundy one. And on the back of my hand, I'm just going to round out the pencil just a little bit because I want to get a nice rounded um, banana line in the crease. So I'm first going to be starting here in the inner corner-ish. And I'm leaving my eye open here because I want this to be just above my actual crease just to open up the eye and so you can see and also so you can see the detail. So I'm just going to not talk and draw a messy line. So now that I have that, um, these do dry down a little bit quickly, so I recommend working fast. Um, so I'm just going to take this little dose of colors brush and I'm just going to kind of lightly blend out those messy edges. These are a little bit drier than what I would prefer, but I do still think that they're workable. I just wish that they were just slightly more creamy because their shades that they came out with were really, really fun. I picked up a few shades that I didn't have in my collection. I really love this shade here and the names are really fun. Disaster Class, like that's so fun. Glossier does a really great job at their whole aesthetic. So now that I have that down, I think I want to deepen it up slightly just right under here. Going on a second layer, it's kind of starting to tug a little bit. Oh dear. Like 
like they don't glide on the lid very nice like they do tug a little a little bit sorry if I'm being really quiet at this point I'm just trying to work quite quickly before this sets down and I'm going with really small motions just so that it doesn't blend anywhere else except for this banana line and I, I don't want um, it to be like a super defined line I kind of want it to be slightly blended but the top here is a little too diffused because the twiggy picture that I have here it's like just a perfect line all the way across but I just want an inspired look kind of a modernized version of this look I think Okay, I'm starting to get happy with this. It's getting, it's starting to get thick, so I think that's a sign that I should leave it alone. Next shade I'm going to be using is this beautiful shade Early Girl, which is a beautiful like light turquoise, and I'm going to place that all over the lid, and I'm taking it on its side just to film, just to cover more area, and this is good if your banana line got a little bit messy you can clean it up with this early bird shade oh this would look really cool with the yellow too nectar the little mustard that would look really awesome as well I might do a second layer of this because there is a few areas that are patchy. I'm not sure if that was just my application. I'm just going to go over with my finger just to kind of warm that product up and kind of blend whatever harsh lines are left from the pencil. And I'm just going to add a little bit more. Yeah, when you try to add a second layer of these pencils, they're very, very sticky and dry. I don't know. It's definitely not my favorite formulation. I feel like they would benefit to add more creaminess to these pencils because if they did then ugh, these would be the best. I'm going to add a little bit more definition into this banana line here. Again quickly going in with that brush. Just because right here set now, um, I just want to reactivate it. I'm going to take some Anastasia Hydrating Oil and I'm going to put a drop of that on my back of my hand. I'm going to take a little pencil brush. This is a Sonia Kashuk something. I The name is completely rubbed off. I'm so sorry. But I'm going to take that in the hydrating oil and I'm just going to circle it onto my hand as so I can just get a little bit of it. I don't want it too much. Just to reactivate that because I didn't blend that out in time. I'm going to add a little bit more. I wonder if this would help it. If you already ordered some of these pencils and you're not liking how dry these are, maybe add some of this hydrating oil because this seems to be helping it a little bit. Now I'm going to just quickly sharpen the this uh, Disaster Class shade and then I'm going to run it on the back of my hand on each side just to make the pencil flat and pointy so we can get a good sharp edge to do a winged liner with. So I'm going to be taking this right from the bottom of my waterline here and just dragging that angle up. Well, because I added that hydrating oil right here, this is gliding on really beautifully. I think this is what I would want them to act like. Oh, that's so much better. There's no tugging at all. Yeah, so if they added just a little bit more of that creaminess, these would be incredible.
I'm going to be taking this Smith 202 brush, the tiniest, cutest little brush ever. And I'm going to take some of that hydrating oil that I still have on that, my hand and dip into right here. Just to kind of reactivate that and use as much product as I can. Um, and I'm just going to do more of the detail work. I don't like how I have to add stuff to make these products work, but it might be handy for those of you who might have ordered some of these products already. To clean that up, I'm going to take this Anastasia 20 brush, which is a great brush to really sharpen up liner, and I'm just going to drag it across that angle. Okay, I think that's as good as that's gonna get, so I'm just gonna clean it up one more time. Moving on to the lower lash line, I'm gonna take that early girl shade and I'm going to place it into the lower lash line. I'm going to take um, this shade once again and I'm going to directly put it into whatever of the hydrating oil under here because I don't, I just want a whisper of this shade under here and I'm going underneath my lashes with this one. I'm going to take that brush once again, the more fluffy side and I'm going to attempt to blend that out. Okay, that went on beautifully. Okay, I'm just gonna have to leave my perfectionism to the side for right now. Um, I do wish that it was a little bit more even. Now I'm gonna be going in with one of these glitter gelée, jelly, and I picked up the shade Phantasm because I, uh, that was the most interesting one. It's very opalescent and there's a bunch of different um, shapes of glitters in here and shades of glitters. And I think I'm gonna put it into where I applied that early girl shade. Ooh, that's really cool. I'm gonna have to lower the ISO to capture all the colors of glitter that are in here. These are really interesting. It's definitely not the effect like a Stila glitter would give. It's more of a scattered vibe. And I'm gonna apply this all over the blue to hide the patchiness. <laughs> Yeah, so I would say maybe skip out on the pencils until hopefully they reformulate. I know that they're reformulating, re reformulating these jellies into decomposable glitter, which is awesome. Okay, that's kind of cool. Very disco-esque, which works because this is 70s, like a 70s look. Okay, I'm going to lower the ISO of my camera here. Okay, I did it really low so you can see all the glitters in there. So fun! I'm going to apply some of this Night Shine highlighter and I got the shade Pale Pearl. It's a really cute little bottle and I love the little applicator because it's so small and you can get into all those little places for highlighting details, so I'm going to pop some on the inner corner and on the brow bone. And I'm going to try to blend this out with my finger first. Oh no, I should have done a brush. I, I picked up this brush, it's the BH Cosmetics number no. 7 brush, it's like a flat paddle. Yeah. This is a better idea. I can sharpen up the brow and not destroy all my painfully hard work. I'm going to catch this eye up to speed and then I'll continue from there. Okay, so I caught that eye up. I didn't struggle as much on this eye because of the hydrating oil trick. 
I just quickly applied some mascara and the mascara I used is the Pat McGrath Fetishize Mascara. The best mascara in the world. Um, I use it when I'm not wearing any false lashes that day because it just gives such a beautiful lengthened and thickened look. It's just, I'm obsessed with it, it's the best. I'm filming my lash application because I'm going to be using some bottom lashes just to get that twiggy feel. I was planning on drawing on her little lash, her classic iconic lashes that she does on, that she did on her bottom, but since these eyeliners are too dry, I'm saving my anxiety. Okay, so I'm gonna apply the bottom lash first, and these are the House of Lashes, I believe they're called Precious. They're really interesting and spiky, so they're perfect for this look. They're so cute. Applying bottom lashes for the first time is really weird. So you want to kind of go right under the lash and pop it in the center first. And then I like to do the outer corner first. And then I will anchor it right to the end. Oh, oh no, my tweezers are sticky. And for my top lashes, I'm gonna be using these Velour Effortless, Lash Effortless Lashes in the style No Drama, which these are really cute and tiny and perfect for this look, I think, um, because they're wispy on the outsides and but short so you can really see the detail work in the eye look and these are fun because you don't have to trim them at all you just pop them on and you're good to go and i like to charlie and i like to pinch my natural lashes to the fake ones And here is the eye look all finished. I actually love how these turned out, how this look turned out. I think it's so fun. It makes my eyes look so huge. I'm gonna lower the lighting just one more time so you can see the dimension in this glitter because it's so fun. So fun. Okay, so now moving on to the rest of the face, I'm gonna go again with this, this Night Shine highlighter concentrate. It's so cute. I love the bottle. So I'm gonna see what this looks like on the cheeks. Um, about three dots I think we'll do. And I'm just gonna blend it out with my finger. Ooh. Ooh, I love that. Subtle, there's no glitter. So pretty. Okay, I'm gonna bring some down the bridge of my nose and on the top, also the, my cupid's bow. That is beautiful. I really, really love that. It's so nice. <laughs> I don't know what else to say other than I, I love it. It applied beautifully. It didn't lift up any of the foundation I'm wearing. Oh, also I'm wearing that new Guerlain foundation and it's beautiful. The L'Essentiel one. Oh, it's gorgeous. I've been using it for a few weeks and it's amazing. But anyways, this is the Glossy Play review. Um, this is beautiful. It doesn't ac accentuate any of my texture. It just Simply, it just looks like I'm naturally glowy. And then for lips, they came out with these Vinylic lipsticks. And I picked up two shades. I picked up the shade Pony, which looked like an amazing shade for to wear with cool toned looks because I've been really into the cool toned looks. And Blow Up, which is a beautiful pink. Here, let me swatch them. I really like the packaging for these, the little pump, little clicky pen. And... I'm just gonna apply this shade. I'm taking, I'm applying the shade Pony. I really like the applicator of this. 
because it allows you to really work that product onto the lips and also it allows um, it to not have like a harsh edge to the lip. I think I'm going to try both shades on. I just wanted to see what both of them look like. I really like this shade. That's a really beautiful shade. I like it. It will look so nice with cooler tone looks. It's kind of a dusty rose shade. And now I'm going to try this other shade, Blow Up. Ooh, that's a really cute, more purpley pink. It's definitely really cute. I love how the finish of these, they're kind of sheer, but they have like a nice glossy tint to them. They kind of remind me of the Lancome lip lacquers, but not as glossy, shiny as the Lancome ones. I wanna see what they look like mixed. I like those two shades mixed because it kind of matches the tone of that burgundy eyeliner we used and it's complementary to that minty eyeliner we used as well for the lid. Now moving on to my final thoughts. Uh, first, starting off with the pencils. I would refrain from picking these up. I really hope that they do reformulate and make them more creamy. I didn't love how I had to add something else to make the product work for me. I think the product should just automatically work and there's so many great formulas of colorful eye, eye pencils like these out there, like the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On pencils are amazing. Recommend those two bits because they're so easy to work with. They blend like a dream and they set down and lock in place all day. These do lock down nicely on the waterline. Uh, I do have a little bit of fading here, but nothing like usual. They're really good for the waterline itself, but to work with on the lid itself, very tricky. Um, yeah, I don't recommend these, which is really sad because the colors are so fun. Oh, I'm, I'm disappointed in those. J glitter jellies. I want to pick up a few more shades. I was just a little bit cautious because <laughs> I didn't think it was be gonna be a vibe I like. I don't really love the look of glitter, um, but I do, ooh, I just dropped it. I do really like the effect <laughs> that it gives. I like the sparseness of it. I think it's interesting and kind of a different look than whatever else is on the market right now. And I am excited that they are reformulating these so that the glitter is decomposable. That's really important otherwise love the formula it dries down really nicely it didn't sting me at all it doesn't I don't feel it at all on the lids as well like I thought it was gonna be super crunchy and moving on to the nightshine highlighter this is beautiful I think this is my favorite thing out of the whole line um, I thought the pencils were gonna be my favorite thing but this ended up being my favorite thing I have nothing bad to say about this this is gorgeous I love the formula I love how it didn't pick up any of my foundation or anything I had underneath. And I love how teeny tiny the applicator is because you can really get into these little areas and you can really do some precise glow application, which is awesome. The only thing that I'm worried about is once I start using this a lot, like I, I can't twist the applicator. So I guess I do have something wrong to say, about, a little bit something negative to say about this product, but I don't know how I'm gonna use the whole jar. I guess I'm just gonna have to really shake the crap out of it. Um, and finally, the Vinylic lipsticks. These kind of remind me of the Lancome um, lip lacquers, but not as shiny and not a stain. They're, these ones are not a stain, but I do love the diffused lip look that they give. And I was a little bit apprehensive about the little fuzzy applicator it has, but I just love the effect it gives with the diffused lip line. That's the, my favorite lip look right now. Just very natural and effortless. So I guess my recommendations on this brand is definitely to get this, the highlighter concentrate, beautiful, and the lipsticks I love. I'd wait for them to reformulate these two so that this is decomposable and that these are more creamy. I hope they make them more creamy anyways. I think Glossier does the most amazing job at 
of their aesthetic and also when the whole experience you get when you order from them. Um, when you receive your order, you always get this cute little bubble bag. Sometimes you get some stickers and just the whole aesthetic of their products themselves. Like whenever I look at my Glossier products, I get excited about doing makeup. I don't know what it is. It's just, I love the minimalistic packaging and the pops of colors that they add. I just think it's really cute. And I love how they went with this little off-white packaging. Really brings a 70s vibe. I just love the whole Glossier aesthetic. It's just very pleasing to me. Aesthetically pleasing. Anyways, that is all for me today, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful, and I also hope that you're leaving here feeling a little bit inspired. Um, but yeah. I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye!